Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Luna Craft here for a Kenshi 101 tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you some basic stuff. If you already have started a character and all that kind of stuff and you know some of this, maybe some other parts will actually be able to help you out, but I'll go ahead and list out what I'm going to really cover in this. I'm going to cover some camera movement. I'm also going to talk about how to move your characters, selection, stuff like that. I'm going to talk about the cities, the mercenaries that you can hire to uh, put into your party, the guards, the bandits and the different type of bandits. I'm also going to show you a strategy on how to use the guards to your advantage. Um, you also have trading. There are um, when you're fighting, you can be injured, and there's things such as bleeding that's actually very dangerous. You got to pay attention to. I'll show you that as well. I'm going to show you uh, how to use first aid kits and then use beds so that you can get your guys up and running to fight some more. So let's go ahead and I'm going to load up my um, my map or what I've already been playing. You'll see my guys are kind of bundled up together upside the mountain where there's a town. Right up in the top right you can see the walls. Um, let me go ahead and select everyone and move them here. So as you can see I'm already moving all out and about. There's many different ways that you can do this. Uh, the very first way for using the camera is what I use is the arrow keys. As, um, as we all know is the other gaming arrow keys that you can use is the WASD. Uh, the benefit of WASD is you can hit Q, you can have E right next to it, or you can have R or F. Now it's pretty slow. I'm not a big fan. Uh, you can also use the edges, but I have a side monitor, so whenever I go to the left, um, it gets stuck very easily. What um, I do use all the time, I use the arrow keys, and I love the mouse cursor, the third button. Uh, if you the scroll button, if you click and hold it. You can do this. Woo! Let's all get sick like we're riding a roller coaster. Uh, if you'd like, you can also zoom in very, very far. Uh, oh, that's pretty detailed for this. And then you can also zoom out. So that's actually that's everything you need to know about camera movement. It's pretty basic. It's straightforward. Uh, but the big one is not uh, what we're going to go into is moving your characters. How do you do that? It's simple. It's just like an RTS, like uh, Age of Empires or StarCraft. Um, you just go ahead. Make, click, hold down, move the box, whew, you let go and anything in the box is selected, then you right click and they all move. Uh, as you can see there's some characters that are going to be slower than others based on the weight and their ability to uh, carry weight. But um, let's see, you, you go ahead and I'm going to move some of these guys on a lot, out a little bit. Uh, if you want to select multiple ones, you can actually just click shift. Now sometimes you kind of have to click multiple times because it doesn't actually enact like this right here. Uh, I found that if you kind of hold a little bit longer, it tends to work. A little bit easier than that is actually using this box down here. Uh, a lot easier for selecting your characters. You can hold down shift, do that as well, makes it a lot easier. Or you can actually use one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to zero. I know if you hit the next button, which is the minus sign, uh, it selects everyone. I don't know how to select beyond that. I've tried control, I uh, I've tried alt, but it hasn't worked. Either way, uh, you can also still use the shift where you hold down shift and you can click down here or press the one three we'll get number eight it's pretty straightforward shift just allows you to select more uh... but let's go ahead and uh... we're going to move these guys all the way up to the city here in the meantime what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to show you time just like uh... sims or sim city or anything like that you can actually speed up the time now if you hit the spacebar button you pause it as it says up at the very top on top of that, if you well, if you hit it again, it brings it up to this minimal speed right here. This right here is pause. This is uh, normal speed. This is double the speed. And my favorite, Speedy Gonzales. So it'll really be able to help out there. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is move these guys over to the cities, and now I'm going to talk about this. Uh, there are many different cities. Oh, when you're loading, uh, it will pause the game automatically, so you don't have to worry about bandits. Um... There are many different cities in this thing. In fact, if I hit the M button, you will see a gigantic map. And this is um, right before they're about to put out a new update. I think I'm on 4.0.5 right now. And uh, the guy's talking about making the map even larger. So it's pretty cool. It can take you a while to get from one place. Because just going from what we saw was right here to there. It's very small. I'm all the way at the brink. Get it? Brink? Because that's the name of the city? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, so... I mean, you have quite quite a lot of traveling you can do. But um, this is a city. They're, they're all cased in walls. There's a lot of trading. There's a lot that you can do. There's certain things you can buy. 
Um, some cities actually don't have everything. Most cities do. You don't really have to worry too much about it, but there's some smaller cities that uh, are lacking in some of the important things that you need. So it's good to find some of uh, the um, ones that you really want to hold on to, where, what's going to benefit you the most. Uh, beyond that, there's mercenaries. These are fun. This is actually how I got all these dudes. Uh, if you want to add someone to your party, what you want to do, woo, zoomed in too far. You go to a city, and most cities, uh, I haven't seen a city that hasn't had this, but I haven't explored every city. You find the bar, or the tavern, where people get drunk. It's where you always find the people that you want in your party. You know, the drunkards that uh, are crazy. Okay, so, go in here, and it finally brings, or cuts the building in half, so you can kind of see what's going on. I think this guy, nope, he doesn't, he's not anyone. So they don't always have it, but what we could always do, and I just want to be able to show you guys... Um, nice thing about this city is um, there's two bars. So come on, come on, pickles, you go a little faster. And oh, no, that that's not one. But anyways, it looks like another dude standing. There's always a guard saying, "Don't steal anything." Arr! Buy beer. But um, yeah, there's anyone beyond that is going to be. Um, mercenary you pay for them they're usually 700 uh, I think it's cats or something like that K-A-T-S or something familiar like that uh, th they just say money here I kinda wish they would say what it is but um, or they can cost I've seen 1200 and I've seen 2500 the 2500 I mean I don't really know a difference because I train them anyways to become powerful so either way e one may be more powerful than another but you can always train them to be better. It's not a problem. But what I'm going to move on to is the guards. There's guards in every city. They're always at the um, the gate. Some actually, I've seen a couple that are actually out here. But either way, uh, you always find some at a gate. Now I'm gonna also talk about the bandits. That's a big one. Bandits will utterly uh, whoop you to a whole new dimension. Especially starting off. Now, my guys are powerful. I've been playing for a pretty decent while. Um, but let me go ahead and get these guys. They're pretty quick. I'm going to have them charge. Now, what you want to look for, and you probably saw me doing it when I was looking out that direction, is I put my cursor over some uh, wanderers. They didn't turn red, so they're not bandits, which is good. Let's see what this guy... Oh, so these are bandits. And there's three different type of bandits. There's a hungry bandit. Uh, they're shirtless. It's kind of easy. They look poor. Look like they don't have anything. And there's also the dust bandits, which are usually in green. And then the final one are the sand bandits, or sand ninjas, I should say. Those are dangerous. I've seen. I used to have um, one of them could take out three or four of my guys easily. But um, those are the different type of bandits. It's pretty straightforward. The big thing is, is you can kind of get close to them, pause it. These may actually be sand bandits, sand ninjas. No, these are hungry bandits. See how the shirtless? They don't have anything. Uh, so you can click on them. It says hungry bandits, starving bandits, same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpause it, get my guys closer. And as you do this, you can see they want to initiate a battle. They are charging in for this uh, epicness. Let's go ahead and do this now. I'm going to actually injure my guys just a little bit. Um, you can see the red is bad, green is good, because green's what you do to them. Um, okay, let's pretend, oh no, I'm dying because I'm a noob and I just started this game. I'm going to run away. Oh, here's a kind of a cool thing. I injured that guy's leg, and this can happen to you too. Be very, very careful. He ain't going to run very fast. If you hurt the arm, they're not going to be able to go you know, swing the sword as strong. If you go too far negative, you pretty much you can see here it's divided by the body part. Stop running in, guys. I'm trying to do a tutorial. Hello. But um, anyway, so you, you can see really where it comes in. Like this guy's head is hurt. This guy's stomach is hurt. Right leg is pretty straightforward. It can go to zero. Zero is when they cannot use it. If they go to, I believe, one or negative 100 you lose it. So you can have your leg amputated from battling. How far do I have to go? Not too far. Okay, now what I'm going to show you guys is a technique and it's very, very helpful, especially starting off. You really want to do this. 
you're not going to be able to fight these guys. My, the time that I spent in there, uh, if you had two guys against these three guys, you're probably going to lose one of them. You, and if you don't run, you're going to lose both. I mean, they're pretty powerful. But as you can see here, I move in closer and get out of the way, guys. You're ruining my technique. Uh, you, all you got to do is just leave them to guards, and the guards will kill them for you. Now, what you want to do, though, and this is the real technique, you want to join in for the battle. See, what will happen is you want the bandits attacking the guards, so the guards are taking the damage. But if you join in, your guys get stronger. As you can see here, um, Pickles has an attack power of 16 minus 10, so he's only got an attack power of 6. Uh, this guy has 21 minus 5. This guy's got 23. He's powerful. This guy's got 21. Now, Pickles and Panda, the first two I showed you, is because of the gear that they got on. They had these very, very strong backpacks that slow them down. But um, what you can do after that is, uh, you know, you got the experience. You keep doing this for a little bit, and you'll get up there. As you can see, they don't stand a chance. Come on, Pickles. I'm going to show you guys now uh, what you want to do after this. You know, it's, you, you got all these dead bodies. What can you do? You loot them. What I've figured out is the weapons are where the money's at. Now, if they have armor, might as well grab that too. It pays pretty well. But if they have pants, boots, shirts, you're not going to get anything. Now, if they have first aid kits, grab it. You need that. It costs a lot, and you need as much as you can get of that. It's also the backpack. Some of them, uh, there's caravan guards out there. Uh, for the caravan, there are these religious people, which they usually carry a backpack. And then there's the actual Holy Empire. Those three act like guards. So if you see them out there and you're with bandits, kind of just lure the bandits into them. In fact, lure as many bandits as you can onto them uh, one wave at a time until they start getting wiped out. And they'll still win. The bandits will lose. But um, you might get some good loot. But uh, as you can see here, this one, um, there is the, you know, different damages. That's if you want to loot it. In this case, I want to sell it. There's the weight, which means your character can be slow. There's also the value, and that's how much you're going to buy it for. And then the trade value, how much you're going to sell it for. So that really just describes everything. But what I'm going to do is, now we just got into a battle. We're all injured. Look at Killian. He's slow. His left arm is hurting. Mr. Butts, his stomach hurts. He's also very slow. Pickles, you should be slow. You're pretty injured. So what are you going to do now? You're injured. Um, there's a few things you really actually want to be watching out for. There is, um, well, let me let me back up. Right here, any of these shops, anything with a sign, you can sell. There's always a dude. Either you click on the counter or you click on the person. Either way, I usually click on the counter because I can skip this dialogue. But go ahead and do this. You click, drag, you drop. It's as straightforward as that. You can do this right here to make some more room. So, nice and easy. It's as straightforward as it really comes to be. Um, but, you know, you're injured. You can bleed out. If you go below 100% bleeding, or if you go below zero bleeding, uh, you're bleeding out. If you go too low, you die. Your character is finished. There's no more of him. How you can tell if it's going up or down is this right here, the zero. That's a number. It's doing a constant countdown. Um, and once it hits zero, you're not bleeding anymore. Uh, it's kind of a weird system, but when you play and you're injured, you'll see it. Um, so if you're below zero on your blood, and this is at zero, you're not going to bleed out. You're done bleeding. So what will end up happening is the blood will regenerate, and then you'll be able to get up again and go about your business. But how do you heal yourself? You know, you, you take damage, you're down. Um, you want to be able to heal yourself up. I mean, this is quite a lot, especially the left leg. So what do you do? You select your character, you right-click, and do first aid. Now, if you have a second character, you can select him like I just selected Panda with number two button. You can go ahead and do that. Right-click on another character, do that. Loot right there is just trading with yourself. Bodyguard just follows them, but fights. It's pretty much the same thing as follow. And then pick up is actually kind of cool. Let's say um, Pickles is down for the count, like he's on the ground, but you got to get him out of there. You pick him up. 
There you go. Go, Panda, go. Now, next thing is um, beds. Oh, by the way, I should mention, any if you see this right here, that's usually um, where you're going to find first aid kits. Uh, if it's not that one, which I still can't figure out because I haven't really been to any other towns, just search around. You'll find some. There's always someone. So the next thing you want to do is uh, see all this yellow right here. Now the yellow is going to slowly regenerate. By slowly, I mean it's going to take you days of put it on speed. I'm talking about real life days. I mean, not really that slow. I'm exaggerating. But it takes a while. So what do you want to do is you bring them to bed. Now when you're in town, you look for that. It looks like a bed. Uh, every time you use a bed, you're actually being charged 100 money. So it's really not too efficient. Now, if you're holding someone, you just right-click there, and he sets them in the bed. See, I already paid the money for it. If you know, if you're just controlling the character and he can walk, if Pickles can get up quickly enough, uh, you just right-click. I don't worry about wasting money. I can make that in no time right now. And then you will see here. Uh, he's regenerating this very quickly, and if you want to go faster, you speed it up. That's really everything you need to know about starting this game. Other than that, play around, have fun. If you want to get into building, take a look at my building tutorial that I made. Uh, you can actually do a lot of fun things. I actually have my own beds. I've set up farms so that I can do trading. And um, I even have my own mind for making more buildings and stuff like that. It's pretty fun so uh, let me know what you guys think if this was a helpful tutorial please click the like button if you got any comments or want me to do a tutorial about anything else uh, just let me know and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later